when Michael and I first started talking about the film, we wanted it to feel as grounded as possible. So something that we could relate to and didn't feel too dissimilar from the world that we all kind of currently know. Except for the fact that it's regenerated to a certain degree now that people aren't around. So we've put lots of colour in there, we've let grasses grow, we've tried to make it sort of feel like the world is to a certain degree slightly better, if that makes sense, without people there. But um, we, we kind of wanted the monsters to be the fantastic element to it so that it didn't feel too dissimilar to, um, to what we already recognise as being the real world. It's been interesting actually because we're obviously setting this film in Southern California, which initially when, I, when we first started talking about locations, I thought maybe that might be a bit problematic. But the interesting thing about, particularly when you go to parts of Southern California, is they have gum trees, they have foliage, you know, fauna that is very similar to what we've got here. So it's been, it's been both a challenge and a blessing to a certain degree. We've tried to find places that look a little bit less spe specifically Australian. But then again, there's been some locations like the back of Sirame Winery where we shot a lot of the exterior for the hatch, which have got some gum trees, which for me, I think works really well. And I buy as parts of Southern California. So it's been, it's been fantastic. Darlington Point was great when we did the exterior mountaintop stuff. So it's been, yeah, it's been a challenge, but also one of the great joys of it too. There are quite a few complex sequences. There's a lot of the action ones are kind of bitsy in the sense that um, it's hard to shoot long playing takes for action sequences. You tend to do the moment, the beats of them, particularly where there's pyro or special effects or stunts involved. Um, the biggest one by far is the hell crab scene, which we're in at the moment, which is going really well. Um, but funnily enough, the Mavis sequence was a tricky one because there was a lot of interactive light it was a relatively simple dialogue, but it was, it was a large amount of screen time with not that much photographic time allowed for us. And being night shoots as well, they, there's, and rain, there's a few other kind of contributing factors that make that more challenging. One of the trickiest things about it is the amount of days we have to shoot the sequence over. Um, and it's split between us and second unit. Uh, but we're at a very exposed location which is beautiful but can also be quite dramatic when the weather changes so the hardest thing about it is the consistency of the weather we've got four really fantastic days today we just got away with it there's a little cloudy but uh, trying to match for me from a photographic side of things trying to be consistent from a lighting side of things when we're trying to mainly use natural light um, is probably the hardest component of it but also shooting out a sequence is always tricky um, because we're jumping around in story order a lot given the fastest way to expedite the sequence, it can be faster to, to shoot out of sequence but in the one direction and then turn around and shoot another direction out of sequence again. So that can be the trickiest thing sometimes about it. But there's a lot of good people involved. There's a great VFX department. There's a fantastic second unit involved. So we've got all the pieces of the puzzle for it to be fantastic. I kind of borrow a little bit from a lot of other work that I've done for this one. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a, a melting pot from, from Will to People. There's a little bit of Stranger Things in there. It's, it's kind of... I always go back to the story and it's like it, when I approach something photographically it's always a story based thing for me. Um, so we're changing the language based from you know from crane to handheld to uh, steady cam to slow dolly stuff to slider work depending on what the tone of the scene is which to a certain degree is, is a similar characteristic to a lot of the, the way that I approach a lot of work that I do. But um, uh, I think the amount of crane work that we're doing and just the, the, the width at which I'm trying to shoot this I think it'll visually it'll be a little different from a lot of other stuff that I've done.